Hi, I hope everyone's having a nice day and welcome back to Riding Mower King. Today we're going to start checking out this John Deere L120. Now you can see there is a rust hole in the deck, but that's right now that doesn't look so bad. It's going to need a patch, but that's not really that big of an issue. The previous owner said that the engine smoked on this. And uh, I looked at it a little bit. Did not expect to find this inside the cylinder. How does that get there? And down here, you can see there's a lot of oil buildup down there. And I'll, I'll get the camera in closer. Sometimes that's just from a, an oil filter that's not tightened correctly. Or maybe it came loose. And you start getting some oil buildup. And maybe that's getting on the muffler. And that maybe that's where the smoke is coming from. Or, since this is about a 20-year-old machine, the cylinders could be scored inside. You know, it could be a cracked ring, you know, a bad cylinder possibly, and the smoke could be coming from that. So before I even try to start it up, because I'd have to put a battery in it, and, you know, maybe something else doesn't even work as far as making it crank over, before I go through all that, I'm going to pull the spark plugs out, and put my scope down in there and look inside the cylinders just to make sure that internally there's no problem that is going to be a big project and possibly need a different engine so that's going to be the easiest way to find out the smoking problem without going through a whole lot of other work so we can get some things out of the way real quick and then uh, you know probably there'll be another video on on some other things that I'm hoping to have time to repair on this so here you can see where I said about there's a lot of oil buildup down here and down there you know it's very easily that could be getting on the muffler and, and making the smoke you know and possibly there's a head gasket leak maybe or a valve cover that's dripping on there but I, I just want to rule out internal damage and when I said about having to put a battery in you know, now, scaly rust like this, that kind of worries me a little bit that it's been sitting. And uh, as you use it, you're just going to run into other problems that are going to pop up. Just because it's it sat and, and didn't get used. So, we're going to look at the inside of this engine. I'm going to pull the spark plugs out real quick. So, here we can see the two spark plugs. This one here is from the left side. It really doesn't look bad. It's not burning any oil the way it looks. And this one here is the right side. It's a little bit dirtier. I wouldn't necessarily say it's burning oil. There's probably a little bit in there. It did have a smell of gas on it though. So it's possible that that one may not be firing all the time. Now what's nice about pulling out both the spark plugs, this should be easy to turn over it won't really have any compression so before we put our scope in there we want to make sure that the pistons down as far as it'll go now since the pistons going the, the pistons moving this way in and out this way our screwdriver is going in that way so we don't want to jam them together so you got to make sure that the uh, screwdriver doesn't get stuck in there so Right there, the, the piston's all the way at the top. And now we're gonna turn it over. And right about there, the piston's all the way at the bottom. So we can see the whole cylinder inside there. Now this here's a scope that I bought, an endoscope. I bought it on Amazon. And uh, this whole thing is rigid. So you can bend that, you know, this is to look in walls and stuff like that. We're going to look inside this engine. So since that's all rigid, you only have this little bit here that's flexible. So I bought another cable. Just so that I can have the phone laying there. And uh, it's not going to be moving around because of this, this rigid cable here. Once I get this untangled. Now I can lay that down. See if I can get it to orientate the other way. Or not. There we go. Now we get a bigger screen. So 
Now first we're going to look out the end camera. There is one on the side right here. So with that one, we can look on the, out, uh, the sides of the cylinder. See if I can get it in here without getting it all dirty. There, now I can see something. But yeah, this has its own light, which you have to have. So I can see the piston. There's a lot of carbon on the piston. can see a little bit of the cylinder. So we're going to try switching cameras. And to do that, we push this button down. And it switches cameras. So now we're looking at the side of the cylinder. And there you can see cross hatching. Now we're at the spark plug hole, the threads. So there's the top of the cylinder where it doesn't really get anywhere. And right there, the shiny part, that's where the rings go to when it goes in and out, up and down. So I believe that's going to be the bottom. Yeah, that's almost the bottom. So if I hold it this way, that's going to be the bottom of the cylinder. And if anything falls in there, you would think it's going to lay on the bottom. So that would be the first place you would really look for scratches from debris. If you get a broken ring, then a scratch could be anywhere. So right now I'm checking the perimeter of the cylinder. And I'm not seeing anything. Maybe seeing hot spots. Hard to tell if that's just from the light. Yeah, so on that cylinder, I don't really see anything. That one looks all right. And it may be that they're both all right. But we're going to go to the other side here and see what it looks like. So right about there is all the way down. And we'll go in with it facing down to look at the bottom first. This is very strange looking. I'm seeing pitting around the cylinder. It looks like pits in the cylinder. That's very strange. Then that would be the head right there. So where that shiny part is, that would be the, where the rings go to. And then this is now the piston would be going back down. And that looks very unsmooth. Besides the pits, it looks like it's not smooth at all. 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Did not expect to find this inside the cylinder. How does that get there? And that was, that was like on the bottom side of the cylinder. Not at the bottom of the bore, but on the bottom of the circle of the cylinder. There's some more. And that is, that's like down, halfway down in the middle. Now there's some lines that look like they're going in the wrong direction. So I would say that this cylinder over here has some issues. So let's check the, uh, change cameras here. And we'll face it down in towards the piston and maybe see a little bit of the sides of the cylinder. No, we're just seeing the piston there. A lot of carbon on it. Let's see if we can turn the light up a little here. That helps a lot. But that's really just still the cylinder, the, the piston right there. So that looks pretty normal as far as pistons go. Guess we'll switch it back to the other camera with more light. Now oh, there we can see a little bit of the side. Yeah, let's switch cameras again. Ooh, there we can see a valve open. Well, now we can see definitely a lot better with, uh, with more light. There's definitely some pitting. We got holes in the cylinder. I've never seen that. So there's the head, somewhere in there is the head gasket. And we've got that pitting. So this part of the cylinder over here, this is kind of what you want to see. All that cross, that's called cross hatching. That's honed in there from the factory. It's to help the rings seat. It makes them wear a little bit. So even with however many hours might be on this, a 20 year old engine, still has that cross hatching. So it has, it's had good lubrication. But what has made those pits in the cylinder? It looks good till we get to there. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the bottom. So you would almost have to think it's had water laying in it. Somehow. To get that kind of pitting. Yeah, let me make sure which way this camera's facing. Put this back in here again. Yeah, that's the bottom of the cylinder, the, the, the bottom side. And even halfway in, there's, there's pitting. So what caused that? That's a, another valve there. But this pitting here. What has caused that to happen?
and that's really not fixable unless you take the engine to a machine shop and get a sleeve put in there and as far as I'm concerned it is not worth it that is really something so is those pits is that allowing oil into the cylinder if you look up here at the top of the head that looks fairly wet that's probably oil in there that maybe it's not burning that oil but it might be pushing it out into the exhaust and then you would most likely have oil you know combustion pressure inside the crankcase also so yeah this engine is uh it needed some attention a while ago but it probably kept running for them till they couldn't breathe anymore so they gave up on it so that's a shame the rest of the tractor is not too bad but this is a handy little tool here and all you got to do is download an app onto the phone you get a camera this way with lights and you get a camera out the side with lights and it came with the reflector that you can look backwards like if I put the reflector on we'd be able to see the uh, the other the other valve we'd be able to see the head but uh, I think I've seen enough to call this one toast so for me this turned into a part what I would consider a parts tractor because the deck does need work it it's fixable unless I take it off and it looks even worse somewhere else which is very possible if it's got a rust hole somewhere at one spot like that it could very well have another rust hole somewhere else because that's probably from putting it away wet with a lot of grass in there but the rest of the deck looks okay I don't know about the spindles so without going through the trouble of putting the battery in it and you know probably I would have had to spray the carburetor that's not a big deal that's normal but uh you know maybe it, it starts up and it smokes and you think okay well maybe it's the head gaskets you know so if you start with this one over here maybe everything looks all right you get to that side you pull that head off and now you see that the cylinder looks like what it is well now you wasted a head gasket over here plus all the time that you put into it so for the time it took me to do this really to walk out here pull spark plugs put that scope in there you're looking at 10 minutes and you can decide that okay that engine looks good inside we're going to go ahead and and get it going or you look at it and the engine looks like this with holes in the cylinder so the engine's not savable the tractor is old enough with a rusty deck where are you going to find another engine you know okay you can put this in the back of the garage somewhere and forget about it till you till you get a good engine for it but uh for me it's a parts tractor now and we don't even know if the transmission's any good you know this is a hydrostatic transmission so you know there's no telling if that's good or not uh, i don't know what brand i don't know what model it is that really doesn't interest me now you know as long as it works i doesn't matter what model the transmission is so if videos like this are going to help you in your tractor journey you know i'd appreciate a subscribe and a like and uh you know i want to keep making these kind of videos because i i think that things like this are helpful to a lot of people and we'll see you next time